Welcome back. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super hyped about today's show because joining me, I have Olympic hurdler and host Perdita Felician. And we're going to talk about season two of BYU TV's inspirational teen athletic competition series, All Round Champion. The series premiere kicks off September 22nd at eight o'clock on BYU TV. So you don't want to miss this interview because we're going to talk about what we can expect this season. Stay tuned. How are you, Perdita? Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are you? Oh. I'm great, thanks. Well, I am super excited about this competition because as a teenager, when I was a teenager, I loved participating in sports, well, mostly cheerleading and yeah. gymnastics, but this is exciting to me. And I thought I was an Olympian as well, playing on video games. So I'm super excited about this. I love that, I love that, yep. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what the show is about. What is All Round Champion, uh, just for people that haven't seen it before? So All Round Champion is a TV show where we take 10 elite athletes. Their age is anywhere from 12 to around 16. And they're really, really good at what they do. And in season one, we had summer athletes. And in season two, which premieres on September 22nd, we have a whole uh, new cast of winter athletes. And so the premise of the show is, you know, every week they show up at a venue. They don't know what sport they're going to be doing, but they'll be competing in a new sport each week. And so the person who sport it is, so let's say we show up and it's figure skating. Our figure skater, Kayla, becomes the coach. And the rest of the nine, nine athletes have three days to master figure skating with Kayla as their coach. On the fourth day, wow. they compete in figure skating, which is intense, right? And one of the, the neat things about our program is to help our athletes coach in their sport, we bring in an absolute superstar from their sport who they don't know who it is until they show up on the day and they're coaching alongside them. So for a lot of these athletes, these are some of their idols and people that they've looked up to suddenly rubbing shoulders with them and coaching. And so, you know, it's really, really interesting because the athletes are great at what they do, but how good are you at these other sports? Right, wow, that seems, and it seems stressful, but intense, but also makes for good television. Um, so what, as a, as a retired Olympian yourself, um, what advice are you able to give them, to give the teenagers and, um, you know, to when they're trying out these new sports and even for their, their particular sports, do you have any particular advice for them as to how they can get to your level? Yeah, you know, I've competed at two Olympic games, um, you know, won a bunch of world championship gold medals and competed in the 100 meter hurdles. And so one of the things I really try to impart on them is, I did that over, you know, more than a decade long career as, you know, one of the top three hurdlers in the world. And I lost more than I won. And so one of the things I have to impart with them is, you know, they're so good at being good. They're not used mm -hmm. to not mastering something. And so a lot of times, you know, if their attitude is really bad on, the, on that day, I actually sometimes take it personally because I know how hard it is to win and to perform and actually be healthy. And so one of the things I want to take away with, from them is, or give them rather, is that it's not about the medals. Dude, it's not about the winning. And yes, this is, you know, a situation where you want to win, but sport is way more than that. It's about resiliency. It's about how you deal with adversity. It's how you take your fellow athlete and bring them up, right? And encourage them. And at times I want to shake them because, you know, maybe they've <laughs> lost and the attitude really sucks, right? But at the end of the day, they're still emerging athletes. They don't have the full spectrum of how it is to handle you know, a really bad day. And so my job is really to guide them, mentor them. I don't coddle them at all, right? So even mm -hmm. though I've been there, done that, and my job is really to guide them, I, I will call it like I see it and I will call you out and I do on camera because I feel like it wouldn't be a service to them. I wouldn't be a service to them if I really, really didn't um, shake them, shake them on some days. <laughs> so I have to know what sport would you be good at if you were if you were on, in this competition and what sport would you not be that great at? You know what? What's so interesting? Um, people can go back and watch season one on the BYU TV app. It's free. They can download it because in season one, I actually tried some of these sports. So you're putting me on the spot now because I'm like, I have to admit that I'm not really good at like a lot of things <laughs> besides running in a straight line and jumping stuff. And so... In season one, um, there was wakeboarding. So you're on the water, you're kind of on this wakeboard. And I don't really love, um, I can't say I don't love water. I, I should say, I didn't like the sensation of being behind this boat and being pulled and tugged. I hated that. I could not get on my yeah. feet and stand for very long. Horrible. Um, I think this season we're doing winter sports. So 10 brand new winter sports. And I think I would be good at figure skating. I think I'd be, I'd, I'd have high jumps. 
Now, artistically, not very graceful, but I think I'd, be, I'd have really high jumps. <laughs> That's that's what the, what I would say for myself. I'm like figure skating because at least I can ice skate a little bit, so that would probably be the one I would be good at too. <laughs> see, that's a skill. That, you see, you'd have a leg up, which is interesting because some of the athletes they come in, they've tried or dabbled a little bit in the other sports, not many, and so you see week in, week out, who has an advantage, and so that would be your advantage if you've skated before. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much, Perdita. I have enjoyed chatting with you and I will be tuned in on September 22nd on BYU TV. Thank you again and I hope you have a great day. You too, thanks again for chatting.